hello there. This is our new SEO content rated tool. I'll just start it running and then I'll show you what it does. So it's designed to rewrite articles. It can rewrite like news type articles, um, articles that were made, you know, after ChatGPT's cut off date. And it can rewrite commercial content as well. So you could see what competitor content's coming up high um, and pass it on to rewrite it. Um, so it does a very good job of rewriting content. It gets over a lot of the hurdles you get with content that's just purely written by AI. Um, so because it was written by a human initially, when it rewrites it, it does really well on AI detectors. So I'm just going to show you um, this one. Here's one I've done already. So uh, create a healthy lifestyle with ChatGPT. So this was a rewrite of an article. I'm just going to move that out the way a bit. That came up first on Google um, for ChatGPT meal plans. Um, so it's rewritten it, it's drawn an image, the Dali images aren't great. You might need to have a couple of goes to get a good image. Um, but it's done the whole article, it's used a mix of, mix of HTML and things like that. Um, you can see on the AI detectors, it comes up as human. Um, this one says human as well for the same article. Um, and this one says likely to be human as well. Um, and you can see I published it on the 23rd of May. Um, and to do Google's happily indexed it, got first impression the next day. So Google's indexed it and you know, started sending me traffic and giving it impressions. And there's the URL there. Within you know, 24 hours of being published, so Google seems to be happy <laughs> with the content it produces. So it's a good way to be adding lots of content to your website and by doing, um, like we were the latest news in your industry um, or yeah or just for commercial content so I'm running free here just to show you it so two are kind of like oops two are information type articles and one's commercial content so that's just my other website but when we do google ads it's going to be right that one as well and when it first it scrapes all the content takes out any code and html and stuff that it doesn't need um, outlines what the kind of main points of the article are and helps it kind of pull out the right information. Um, so there's my one paper click, Google Ads, um, the location and stuff like that. And then it, it, so it then uses that the original article plus the kind of article themes to extract the content from the article. It's just to separate the article from stuff that shouldn't be in the rewritten version so it'll take out where like write a testimonial with the same client name as you know, someone else that's on there um, it'll try not to rewrite like comments that are on the page you know, stuff that shouldn't be in the rewritten version basically so that helps it get out the right stuff rewrites it um, add, does, adds all html and stuff so that's all nicely formatted for you writes a heading writes a url slug and um, writes a meta description which is also the excerpt of using WordPress. Um, it'll describe a picture and then it'll get Dali to draw that picture. So a picture that will go with the article. Um, and then we've got this sheet here. So this sheet is how you actually send, you can send it to WordPress automatically um, with, with this as well. So you could put in, you know, 20 URLs for the 20 latest news articles or however many you want um, and just leave it running and write them all. And then once it's done, you can go to this tab and then you send them off to WordPress. Um, and they'll appear on your WordPress site. Um, I'll show you how to use it. So it's, let's just check what we're up to with the articles. Yep. So, okay, in terms of how to use it then, when you first start running it, for the first five minutes, it'll have this little bar at the top that says running script. Uh, Google Sheets has kind of a maximum runtime of five minutes if you're just using a free Google account. Um, any mess ever messages you'll see here, but that doesn't mean it's stopped running sometimes you get an open AI ever because they're busy but this tool will kind of wait three seconds and then try again it just keeps doing that and um, so it's still running even though it says it got an error and once the five minutes is up that bar will disappear but it carries on running in the background so after like a minute you'll see that the cells actually carry on filling in um, it's just a little bit of code we've got to get around the Google Sheets limitation um, yes yeah, so that'll carry on running it'll be running in the background um, unless it has had like a big problem and then, then it'll tell you what the error is there um, once it's all done to, to, before you can start sending them to your website you have to set up a free WordPress plugin called Posty uh, we're not linked to Posty in any way but it's just the, the plugin that's kind of works well it's fairly easy to use um, here's your settings when you send it to WordPress so when you set up Posty you have to set up an email address the way it works is this sheet emails it to that email address, your email address, and then Posty goes and looks in your inbox and takes those emails and sets them up as articles. So it's how it goes from the sheet 
basically into WordPress. You've got a few options here. So do you want it to go as a draft um, or straight to a published article? And um, do you want to allow comments on there? You can see zero, no comments, one is comments, and two comments and moderation. And do you want to be a post or a page? So you've got a lot of options there in terms of how you want to publish it on the website. Um, setting up post I'll show you that, which is just a one-off task. Basically, once post is set up, then it um, becomes quite quick and easy to you know be publishing articles on your websites on a regular basis. Um, so first you download the Posty plugin, it's free. Um, you have to set up an email address, so you'll need uh, ideally a domain name where you can set up an email address where you know the, the email settings and things like that. Um, so set it up, put in the email, oh, don't use that email address for anything else, so make it quite like a unique email address. Um, so you're not going to accidentally get an email because it will try and publish the email to your website. Um, but the only the email addresses like I'm logged into my Google account, so only emails from this account, basically this account, email account, Gmail account, or whatever you're using, has to be a user on your website, ideally an admin user. So it's only random people can't email that address basically and, and get articles published on your website. Um, uh, yeah you have to be like an admin on the website as well as using the sheet and um, for the emails to go through and um, yeah you set pick the settings for your email account your email address and your password and um, you can choose to have posty check every hour or every so many hours when it's to see if articles been received or if it's on check manually once you've sent like 20 you just come over and you click process email i'll upload them all there's a few little settings in posty to uh, do, do, do so one is HTML. So when you set up Posty, the emails will have the H because it's adding HTML. That needs to be set to HTML, not plain text. And the other setting is you need to tell to use the first image as the featured image. So that way we can send the image from the sheet, and that will appear in the article as well. So that's your Posty settings. So once it's done, I'll see if it's done now. Oh, still right anyway. Uh, but yeah, once it's done. You go to this sheet, GPT menu, mail to WordPress, and then you stay on this sheet whilst it's running, you'll see the articles appear here and then um, disappear <laughs> as it sends them off to WordPress. You come back into Posty, where are we? Wrong tab. Press process email, and then when you come to your posts, it will appear here. So there's some more that we've done. We've just got someone working on one of them now. Um, so these are also written by the same tool. So what we do is we look for a keyword that we want to rank for. We'll kind of pick an article out of the top three that already come up for that keyword. And we'll get ChatGPT to rewrite it. And then we'll post it on the website. And then, yeah, this is what it looks like. So the, the actual image will appear there. And um, we can see a nice mix of stuff. So it matches kind of the length of the article as well. It does it in sections to get over the ChatGPT limit. Um, so even if it's like a really long article, it should just chat its way through still. You can see it's a bit longer than the healthy meal plan one. Um, yeah, and Google seems to like the content, so I hope all that makes sense. Um, pretty straightforward to use. When you first land on the sheet, we run in the background now. Um, when you first land on the sheet, to get your copy, you just follow these instructions on the instructions tab. So you get to file and make a copy, like it says in that first line. Then register with OpenAI if you're not already. You probably already got a ChatGPT account, in which case it's the same details and stuff. And you get your API key from them, and you paste your API key into that block. Um, and then, yeah, you're ready to go. They do give you $18 free API credit, which with the Turbo model is enough to write millions of words. But if you've had your account for a while, that's probably expired. Uh, but yeah, it works out very cheap per article. Um, $20 writes like 7 million words or something with the turbo model or something like that so it's wherever it is it, it is not very much um, yeah that's it second just to give it a bit of time to finish those free articles so I could share there's the image that's drawn to so the two student AI stuff which used robots and then the one the marketing ones we've written it's a nice little graph on a laptop uh, so now the articles are written that's where I go to posty mail to WordPress and it will fill in all the posty settings it needs um, and then it'll send it off. And once it's done this I'll go in and accept them in WordPress just so you can see the whole process from beginning to end.
Well, they're not yet. So we'll change there to say third cent. And then once there you go, cent. And then once that's done, they should all be on our in our inbox. And then we go back to our website. And you may have Posty set to check it automatically, but usually you might not want to wait around. <laughs> so yeah, just process mail. Um, just comes up with the screen, like blank screen basically. Um, but that way it's still done it. Let's process them. Um, and there's our three articles that we did. Um, so that's the one that's rewritten the kind of commercial website content, just to show you that one. There you go. You'd have to change the company name, I think, if you were <laughs> rewriting a competitor's website. That's preview it just so you can see it with the image there you go it's quite big here but that's just the theme that i've used for the website basically and um, yeah there you go unique rewritten article and should pass all the you know ai detectors and plagiarism tests and things like that it does as done with all the other articles and um, that's it it's quick and easy you could be adding you know 10 articles a day or whatever you want to to your website to help get them rankings get some traffic in and um, thank you